right now, an interview with comic book artist extraordinaire, Humberto Ramos. Hi, my name is Humberto Ramos. I'm from Mexico. Um, I like comic books since I was a kid. The first comic book that I collect, you know, yeah, collected, you know, that's, that's the word, um, was actually Spider-Man. So um, from there, from that point in my life, I became a comic book fan. And I uh, always liked drawing. So I kind of get to this place where, you know, you are, you're not just happy reading the, the, the characters you, you like, but you want to actually draw them or do something else with them. So uh, that's how I grew up, uh, reading comic books and drawing, learning how to draw. And, uh, and it, didn't, it didn't become a career choice till when I got to college when I met people that actually work at comic books back in Mexico. The one artist that made me feel that I, that I wanted to do this for a living was Arthur Adams, actually. I was reading a um, Fantastic Four book. He did a, this little mini-series, The uh, Monsters Unleashed, where they present a new Fantastic Four world Spider-Man happened to be in it, and I, I, I was like Spider-Man. I, I follow whatever it was, uh, uh, whatever book was out there with Spider-Man included, and I saw this guy, and it was like I was like shocked with his art. So um, I start following him, you know, as an artist, and uh, and he he was the one that that actually, you know, make me believe that I could that I would like to do this. Uh, he's a good guy, awesome guy, actually. When I was out of college, everybody wants to draw like Jim Lee, Doug McFarlane, because it was the image time. And uh, I was, try was trying to do it myself. But I have this Art adam you know, thing in my drawings. And eventually it, 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 it went to that, you know, to that path, rather the the image, you know, flashy stuff. Because people start calling the Humberto Ramos style with impulse. Uh, I, I used to draw the kid, uh, Bart Allen, with huge feet. Because I kind of thought that it would, be, it would be cool to draw him as he will, his rabbit, right? So it was just a thing that I did for that character alone. But suddenly, people start, you know, uh, saying that that was part of my trademark, and uh, that's that's the one, the very first time that I realized that I had a personal, uh, you know, uh, signature in my work. Most people, you know, most kids who wants to draw and, you know, and come to us and ask us for advice. I can see that they are all into doing um, um, the flashy, you know, action shots characters. But few of them are actually aware how important it is to draw backgrounds. The things that that you think that people won't be noticing, actually, it's really important because when you don't draw them, when when it's not there, people then start complaining like. I mean, I, I know I don't take like 10 to 15 minutes, um, you know, watching every panel, but if there's, if there's lack of uh, environment in, in their storytelling, then there's a problem. And pe uh, people notice that. Since the very first day that I got hired to draw comic books here in America, my goal was to draw The Amazing Spider-Man, you know? So, I'm, I'm living a dream. That's, that's pretty much what it is. I was, um, I was about to do a book in uh, France and I called for a sabbatical with Marvel. I was doing X-Men at that time. And uh, they, they let me go, but the, the deal didn't, didn't come out as we 
wanted uh, to be. So I came back Marvel telling them, you know, these, uh, these guys didn't, uh, you know, accomplish what they were supposed to. So I'm um, here with, with no job. So can, can I go back and get a regular book? So yeah, sure. Is there anything you would like to do? It's like, well, if you are asking me, I would like to do Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, it happens that to be that they had an opening uh, in the book that time. So uh, that's pretty much how it happened. I, I knocked the door and they opened it for me. I like drawing my, my characters, you know. I've done like, so far, four different stories with uh, creator own stories. Crimson, Out There, Revelations, and now uh, a, a book that I, I'm co-creating with Paul Jenkins called Fairy Quest. And we just uh, print our first run of thousand copies. We are doing it ourselves. I mean, it's like a, it's pretty much a homemade book, you know. And uh, and that's that's the the other thing that I'm doing beside beside drawing uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. I love being at conventions because I love being, being with the people. It's tiring. I mean, I. I, I, can't, I, I'm, I won't lie, it's really tiring, but uh, I wouldn't miss it for, I mean, for nothing, because uh, it's the one time that you have a chance to be one-on-one -on -one with, with the guys who read you, the guys who, who don't like your work, like somebody today come and tell, you know, came by and told me, you know, I respect you, I don't like your work, but I respect what you do as an artist and so. And so. That kind of thing, that, you know, yeah, it's it's not it's not easy to 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 have it in a in a different bar, uh, work environment. So uh, whenever I have a chance to go to to a convention, I, I go happily because I I really enjoy whatever happens in the, in the show. You can... Right now, the, the the people that I have by my side, what I'm drawing is. Eric Cañete, Stuart Immonen, uh, Je uh, Jeff Campbell, uh, Joe Madreira, um, gee, uh, some some uh, some European guys as well. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, uh, Giovanni, uh, uh, Carl um, Barbucci and Canepa. You know those guys. Uh, well, well, you know. I don't know, Chris Bacciallo. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. the the I have a long list of people that I, that I found. Mm -hmm. Just just letting you guys know that our our job, what we do here, is like uh, living the the endless summer. That's awesome. But to live it that way, you got to realize that this is a job, and uh, there's people waiting for you. To the, for you to deliver your pages, you know, on time, so they can get your pay page. Yeah, there's many days that I feel like not doing it, but then those are the days that prove you that you are uh, made for this kind of work. I mean, because the, the the days are not as fun to draw. Those are the days that prove you that you are professional. So if you go, if you want to do this for real. You gotta be aware of those things.